All right, uh, this was sent into the channel for review. It is one of these little uh, oscilloscope multimeters. I've reviewed several of these before, but let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at this one. Um, this one is in a nice little zipper case, okay. And we have a probe, and this is uh, a uh, Zoe, Z O Y I. It's a ZT seven O. 2s. So I haven't reviewed any uh, Zoe products. I've heard good things about them. So let's see if we can't uh, can't remove the uh, protective layer here. There we go. Get my finger under it. People love this, don't they? Look at that. Ooh. <laughs> can't really photograph it very well, can I? Ooh. Okay. Um, and there's a quality sticker on it here. Tear off before you stop testing voltage in current mode. Yeah, that's that's not, that's not a good idea. <laughs> you will blow up your you will blow up your meter. So little words of warning there. Okay, uh, it feels just like a regular DVM. It feels a lot like a um, Uni uh, 61 or 62 that I had. Uh, about the same about the same size. A little flippy thing on it. Um, uh, all right. I don't know if this one has batteries or it's, or if it's a pro, uh, chargeable. I think it's, I'm not sure. Let's, uh, let's turn it on. Hello? Push it way down. Maybe it doesn't have any batteries. Oh, nope. There it goes. All right. So a lot of these uh, displays look about the same. Everybody's copied everybody else. That looks very, very, very familiar though. <laughs> um, all right, auto range mode. Oh, that's kind of nice. Analog meter, I love analog meter things. Yeah, nice graphics. Uh, menu. I guess you really have to push these buttons. Hello, menu, hold it down. No? Oh, there it is, the menu's there. I'm just being dense. Coupling, tri mode, triggering, probe 1x, 10x, volume, move, trigger, DC. Okay. Um, let's uh, let's see what else you get in the box. Let's see if we can turn this off by holding that down. Yeah, it looks like it's rechargeable. Uh, let's see. You get a, uh, a temperature probe. That's always nice. You get regular uh, regular probes. That's standard stuff. Uh, you get a charging cable, USB-C probably, yep. And then you get a probe. So let's, uh, let's take a look what kind of probe you get. User guide, a 60 megahertz probe. Um, and let's see here, take the tip off. Pretty standard stuff. Uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty narrow, which is nice. Rigol probes are a little bit big on me, but these are fine. Let's see. Uh, P2060. 60 megahertz slash 6 megahertz, depending if you're 1x or times 10x. So 60 megahertz, it looks good. It's got the little little accessory things in the bag. And uh, there is a BNC on the top, a real BNC, which is nice. All right. So let's uh, stick that up there, and then we can do the uh, probes down here. I'm going to go ahead and put, put some nice probes in it just for the review. Yep, comma V. All right, that looks good. All right, let's uh, let's put some volts in it. See if it's accurate. All right, let's see if I can photograph this thing without getting glare on it. It has a rounded front, so it's gonna pick up some glare here. But uh, yeah, 1.000 uh, volts. I'm using my uh, uh, voltage standard up there, so it should be pretty, it should be pretty accurate. So there's a uh, one volt, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do we have some kind of offset? 
Looks like it's got a little tiny offset and 10 volts. Not much resolution, but uh, it is it is accurate. So we'll say that's that's pretty good. Let's go to the millivolt scale. Six, 60 millivolts, very nice. Uh, let's go down here to zero. Here is one millivolt. Yeah, pretty nice, all right. Doesn't have microvolts. Um, so as far as the voltmeter is concerned, you know, it's pretty uh, uh, coarse. It doesn't have the real fine detail, but uh, it is accurate. All right, so let's try out the uh, let's try out the oscilloscope. All right, uh, so here we go. Make sure I've got no glare here. Um, so we have uh, two point one megahertz, and it reads right here two point one megahertz. So there's there's megahertz. Let's uh, make it go higher in frequency here. Two point four. There we go. Five megahertz. And 9 megahertz, it's freaking out. So, all right, this must be a 10 megahertz oscilloscope. Let's, uh, let's see here. Menu, coupling, times rising trigger. Let's see here. Volume, time. Here we go. Time. Yeah, time. I don't like the way they've labeled it. Oh, so that's as fast as it goes horizontally. And we're at 10 nanoseconds per division. And let's go up in frequency. And yeah, at 10 megahertz, it's all it's all wacky. Okay, it's totally wacky at 10 megahertz. Um, at six, yeah, five, I would call this a five megahertz scope. That's about that's about all it really does is five megahertz. Um, so that's uh, fairly slow, but for a lot of things, it's fine, right? Uh, five megahertz. If you're working on a car or audio equipment, something like that, five megahertz is fine. Um, I don't know what the price point of these things is, but uh, I do like the display. All right, I'm putting in uh, some uh, 100 kilohertz sync pulses, and so we can sort of see how those how those look. Uh, they look fairly decent, and we can play with the trigger level. Oh, there we go. It draws me, draws me a line. I like that. I can see where the uh, See what the trigger level is. Uh, DC coupling, AC coupling. Yeah, you can see it. Watch, watch it swing up there. Um, pretty weird. Volume time is just means it's it's uh, uh, vertical amplitude and horizontal. So yeah, volume time, whatever. I sort of get the idea. Uh, but yeah, looks like it's triggering okay on that. Let's try a different uh, waveform. Uh, there's a heartbeat. <laughs> All right. So um, let's try a square wave. I haven't calibrated the scope probe for a square wave. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah. So we could uh, tweak our tweak our scope probe, which is on which is here, uh, it's, it's right here. So we'll get out their little tool they give us, which is just a little screwdriver, but it's the right size and it's insulated. All right, so we'll put this in a little hole there and we'll adjust it and it's, it's giving us a adjustment for amplitude, but not really for squareness so that's uh that's a bit of a fail so it doesn't have maybe you couldn't see that but uh i when i when i adjust it it's not really adjusting the rise time it's adjusting the amplitude of the uh or peak sort of peaking the amplitude instead of peaking the uh, uh peaking the edge so that's a bit of a fail all right um it does have all the other modes of milliamps and um uh, diode test. We could do the diode test, I guess. Since I have a, uh, I have a tester for that already. Okay, I have my little test board here. Um, it is, it is measuring the, uh, 
measuring the blue LED at two and a half volts, but I think it's starting to comply uh, limit to its current. So, oops, let's move it over to the uh, um, red LED. Uh, LED is measuring 1.6. Silicon diode is measuring 0.6, and silicon um, shotgun diode is measuring 0.3. And uh, yeah, so it does have at least uh, two. Two and a half volt compliance on the uh, on the LED test, so that's nice. And we can go to it does uh, capacitors. Let's do some resistors. Let's see how it's doing there. Let's go here to uh, they're here to one k point oh four. Okay, how about uh, hundred ohms. That's fine. Okay, let's go up here higher. That's pretty speedy. That's not too bad. Let's go here to 10 meg. Yeah, so it's pretty pretty good with uh, pretty good with uh, resistors. Uh, like I said, it'll do uh, comes with temperature probe, so it'll do uh, temperature. That's nice. I do like the uh, I do like the uh, analog display there. Let's go back to uh, volts and let me hook it up to a adjustable power supply. Let's do that. All right, so full scale, 100 volts, and if I uh, move it the little the little thing goes down so let's go down to some smaller voltage does this thing have ranging oh yeah it does have ranging let's change the range on it millivolt volts uh, uh this top scale is not not changing let's go to uh down here to 1.8 volts and we'll do the range Oh, there we go. Uh, 1.1.8, so it did range there. And it goes up, so let's go down below a volt and see if we can't, there's 0.3 volts. Oh yeah, it's not real. Analog meter's not real speedy, so I don't think it's really usable as an analog meter, but it is cute. Okay, well there you go. That was my review of the Zoe. Zoyi, Zo, Zoyi, uh, ZT702S, about a five megahertz oscilloscope. It's only uh, uh, 10,000 count uh, resolution. Um, I think it's like a $50, $50 price tag on these things, which isn't too bad for, for everything that you get. So I don't know, not too bad. Uh, it'd be nice if it was a little bit faster. We do have a, uh, a one kilohertz output here for calibrating the scope probe. And we have a uh, USB to charge the battery. There was a battery indicator on the front, so it does have lithiums inside. Anyway, yeah, that's my review.